All right, guys, Chris Terrian here at day five, again, at the Lincoln Financial Field, joined now by Travis Konechny, number 11 for the Flyers. Uh, TK, when you look at this game here, uh, you were on the Flyers team in that, uh, the first matchup, the outdoor with Pittsburgh, but you were injured for that game. Yeah. So this will be your first one, and, and obviously now when you look at going back, everybody wants to play the outdoor game. How excited are you? It's got to be through the roof. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't even really describe it. I know... Uh, you know, I, I, I'm so excited to be a part of this, especially because I missed that first one. It was it was tough to watch on TV. I couldn't even go down and watch the game. So, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to it, and especially just the rival between us and Pittsburgh and, you know, the games that we've had, and especially the last one there. Uh, we're really looking forward to the game. Well, I'm, I'm Canadian from Ottawa. You're also an Ontario boy. Uh, how much was the outdoor rinks, the outdoor games, part of your growing up? I know it was a huge part for me, uh, going out with my dad till wee hours, like 9, 10 o'clock at night under the lights. Uh, so it, it really rang true to me. Is that r same for you as well? Yeah, same thing. I actually just had a conversation over there about, you know, I'm looking forward to that, that chill feeling again with that uh, brisk air and, you know, in your face when you're skating around. And I don't know, it's just something that I, I grew up dreaming about playing outdoors and, um, you know, you see it on TV when you're a little kid, and I just, you know, I, I'd always look forward to, to an opportunity, and, you know, it's finally here, so. Yeah, anything for you, and when I hear six immediately, I'm thinking to myself, out of the first five, what what's one that stuck out to you the most, or one that was certainly the most memorable for you? There had to be some in, in all different climates, all different locales. Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, for me, the two that really stick out are the one at the, uh, the big house in Ann Arbor. That one was really cool. Um, yeah, with the weather, how it was, it was kind of a perfect setting, and obviously uh, I think it set an attendance record for that one, so that was pretty cool. And then the last one last year at the uh, Naval Academy there uh, was pretty sweet yeah. too. Uh, and again, when you look at a game like this, for you, what is optimal temperature for you on game day? Do you want it warmer? Do you prefer it a little cooler? What, what has worked best for you in the outdoor games? Yeah, you know, I think uh, the, the temperature stuff, uh, I'm fine with all those different variables, but I think it's just as long as there's no wind, I think it's uh, a lot easier to play. So you're not uh, back checking uh, into a gust, uh, making it even harder to get back. <laughs> Yeah, we don't like playing in any form of wind at all. It's not good. Uh, when you see this here in the preparation, just with the rink and the ice starting with the pipes and everybody down here, uh, how cool is it to see the preparation for an event like this? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, usually uh, you get there a few days before us as players and you see kind of the finished product. But uh, obviously this is a huge ordeal and a huge undertaking and uh, lots of work uh, goes into it to making the, the, the process for us as players as uh, seamless as possible. So uh, they do a really good job with it. and. Uh, it's definitely cool to see it along the way, how, how it starts as this, and then it's going to be pretty pristine on uh, game night. James, I'll tell you one thing. It's about 65 degrees right now. I'll take this minus the wind on the 23rd. Thanks very, thanks very much for all your time here today, and good luck this week in preparation for the game. Thank you.